Hey Libra, welcome back to my channel. This is Moon Pie from Moon Pie Tarot. If you're new, please do hit subscribe, like, and share. I greatly appreciate that. Uh, this is going to be your love reading for Libra Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. Just be mindful, some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest. If you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. So go over and check that out. I am running a special at this time. All right, and if I forgot to say it, please do, please do subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate that. All right, Leah, um, Libra, <laughs> you know, you guys always, when I start Libra's reading, I always wind up saying Leo. So I know a lot of you Libras are connected to a Leo all the time. All right, let's take a look. What are your, what are your messages? Start out here for Libra. See what the love message is. General reading what you have going on here okay oh wow you're the runner crazy it's very interesting because i do believe that i just did the leo reading and they had the runner as well so <laughs> if you are uh like some type of connection with the leo i would definitely say come back and check that out okay so this is runner in a codependent relationship fear of intimacy too much ego listening to ego all right let's take a look you also have girl talk okay time with friends moving on happily single living in the moment having fun so i'm picking up this energy already libra that you have possibly left a relationship or you're taking some time out you ran away from something or somebody ran away from a relationship that felt um like a clingy it felt very clingy or somebody was feeling very clingy and it's kind of like spending time being single um spending time with friends chatting with others living in the moment and just trying to have fun right now okay passion hmm and there's insane chemistry with somebody liking each other equally having fun hmm okay all right that's interesting so uh, what they're saying is uh, for some you could be communicating with some friends and and um it feels like having a lot of chemistry with others in a community or some type of setting really loving and liking being together having a good time having fun while being out of a relationship at this time okay um but it feels like being very passionate about your your friends or your your family your your life in general which is really good i feel like um not being so um stuck on one particular person at all all right so let's see what else is going on here now just remember the roles can be reversed so take that in mind keep that in mind okay so we have victory recognition and applause so Libra, I feel like you're in this position right now where you are um, just looking for appreciation and maybe you feel like you weren't getting that in the past from a person, place, or thing. And now it, it seems to me like you are going to be receiving some type of praise for who you are. People Being around people who appreciate you, which is really lovely. Um, if somebody walked out on you or, or forced you to leave a relationship, I feel like you are in this position now where you are going after you know it's kind of like well if this person and i can't make something work i can get my love elsewhere so that that what it feels like is going on here okay look at it differently so there's um okay so we have pisces energy maybe you were connected to a pisces or um you're taking on that piscean energy at this time where you are um letting go of old thinking patterns old note excuse me, old notions. Um, you may have felt stuck in the past and now you're seeing that that might have just been an illusion. Um, I see you trying to get like a different view of or a different perspective of your life in general and relationships. I feel like uh, this slight change in view can make some type of predicament that you're in at this time um, much easier. Um, I feel like some of you, if you left a relationship, it was something you felt at the time that you needed to do, or if somebody left you, uh, I don't feel like you chased. I feel like you just were like, okay, that's fine. I, I think I need to like get some balance somewhere in my life here. 
And I feel like you um, made a lot of sac uh, sacrifices for somebody or in a relationship, but you've become very wise since then. Um, you've got your struggles, though. You definitely have your struggles. There's possibly some competition. I feel like you're fighting um, to stay on top. Um, maybe you feel like you're competing with other people or family members or you have something in your mind or your heart where it's like it, it kind of feels like you just don't want to lose. You want to keep winning is what I see. And I see you, um, even though it's a struggle right now in your life to just try to raise your vibrations, I, and, and, it, and it is a bit of a challenge. Maybe you have some rivals here um, or others. Maybe uh, some of you, you were connecting with someone and there was somebody else in their life or other people, and you may have felt like um, you had to compete. But I feel like a lot of you just are in this place going forward where it's like you know no i'm good enough i don't have to compete i'm not competing with anybody i'm not competing with uh, for the affections of somebody here <laughs> i feel like a lot of you are taking up new exercise programs maybe you start running or doing something to get yourself in a better physical shape um get yourself more heart healthy um that kind of energy doing something where you're physically active um, you might be taking some self-defense classes um, or competing in some kind of sport, uh, whether it's professional or just for fun, right? Um, I see you jumping hurdles and really doing well at this. What else do you have? Okay. And you also, okay, so you're in reflective mode as well. I, it just feels like, um, Libra, you're doing you right now. You know, you, you, you're pulling your energy away, you're going into your cave, regrouping, recollecting. Um, I feel like a lot is going on in your life at this time and you just need some time alone, which is fine. You're staying in the stillness um, and uh, staying, this is hermit energy. So, um, of course, that's Virgo. You could be connecting with the Virgo or maybe you're on the cusp of Virgo Libra. Um, but you're just kind of like going in for to become illuminated. You're seeking clarity. Um, you're on a quest for truth here, which, you know, that's you. You, um, I feel like you're, uh, I guess I want to just say you're like, you're trying to create truths. You're reflecting, you're looking back at the past. You're maybe trying to let go, uh, talking to friends and other people who support you, um, who are giving you like, um, like thumbs up, telling you you're doing okay. I feel like you're seeking that. Maybe it's friends. Maybe it's just one particular person. Maybe there's some counseling for some, or you're just trying to gain um, some perspective and, and trying to understand if somebody ran away from you or didn't want to face confrontation. They were fear of um, they had fear of being intimate, or there was just this an intimacy not so not necessarily physical but emotional intimacy, um, or they had like um. Uh, an ego issue or they were listening to somebody that had an ego issue they're very heavily influenced by another person perhaps but let's get some clarity and we'll do some clarification to see what's going on here for you so victory recognition and applause right so i feel like you want to be noticed i feel like you want to be um you want people to cheer you on. That's the energy that you're staying in. If someone is a partner is not supporting you, supportive of you, you're at least in the rest of this month of February, you're seeking that out now in this time. Um, let's see. Okay. So you've got the King of Pentacles. So I feel like most of this has to do with work. You could be connecting with a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn as well. Um, but most of this has to do with your stability and your finances. Okay. So maybe it's something with work where you are, um, people are applauding you. You're trying to win some kind of awards or just gain like um, plaques or recognition or be seen for the work that you do. Uh, you want to be seen as someone who is stable and, you know, you're working towards that to be financially stable, um, to be more resourceful. You're very focused on 
domesticating your home and your life as well. Um, you have a real, uh, you're doing something with your home. Maybe you're de redesigning or decorating or doing something special with your home, hanging up awards or plaques or things that you received in your life, really honoring and valuing yourself at this time while um, and not being in some type of connection with someone. And even if you still are, it feels like you're putting yourself first at this time, which is fine. And it, it's good. It's something that I feel like you need to do or you've needed to do this. Um, gaining a different perspective. Wow. Okay. Three of swords. So looking at some type of heartbreak or divorce um, or uh a loss maybe you are you were feeling a little bit depressed and trying to boost yourself up boost up your ego have people tell you like support you um looking at this if there was a third party situation or something taking a look at this differently okay but like in a wise way not looking at it from uh the goggles of hurt and pain but more so being more reflective and and really, some of you, I just feel like you're seeing somebody for mm, the way they presented themselves. Instead of trying to change that person, I feel like you're getting to this point where you're accepting that this is how they are. And unless they have major shift or change or come to terms with things themselves, things really aren't going to change. So uh, I feel like you're coming to terms with some kind of heartbreaking situation here. So let's take a look and see this struggle challenge competition. Okay, the struggle is finding the right one for you. I feel like you have a lot of options here. Um, and I feel like a lot of people are also competing or will be competing for your attention, right? Seven of Cups. Um, it's definitely a struggle <laughs> to be grounded and be in reality in regards to love because your Venus ruled. So, you know, partnerships and love and, and all the things that could be is, is pretty much what rules you. And I feel like the struggle is that you have a tendency to fall in love too quickly or fall in love very easily um, and be kind of blinded or in fantasy land when it comes to the partners because you have so much hope for the partnership and you see so much positive good energy in the people that you connect with um, that sometimes you fail to see whether or not the you're even compatible with these people you know because the love is just so strong so i feel like you're reflecting on that about yourself at this time let's take a look what else are you reflecting on here okay oh we got the sun leo hmm uh, i always say libra leo's always show up in your readings i don't know why but um yeah, this is like, this is amazing. So reflection is definitely um, the hermit energy, but it's also the hermit stands on a cave and he's there at night. And the only light that there is is a reflection from the moon, but you also have the light of the sun. So this is kind of like day and night you're thinking. At night, you're really in deep thought about things. You're really feeling things deeply at night. But during the day, you're more positive. Your energy is more open. I don't feel like you're, I'm not really picking up that you're in kind of like a devastated way this time. I feel like you're just really taking a step back and understanding something um, and really looking to see more so not in areas where you failed, but looking, uh, tallying up all your victories in life, looking to see where you have been the most successful and uh, making decisions going forward in your life to follow those paths, looking at things that have worked and um, sticking with those tried and true uh, situations or relationships rather than looking at the things that didn't work and absorbing that and taking that as if you're defective. You're looking at this like, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. If somebody's running away from me or is, doesn't want to face confrontation or deal with issues, that's not a reflection on me. That's a reflection on them. And now I can come to a place where I can accept this. So I like your energy very much. Um, let's take a look here at the romance angels, see what the messages are here for you, Libra. Okay. Letting go of control issues. You're allowing things to unfold naturally. Very beautiful. You have this very much like energy where I feel like you're like, well, you know, if it's meant for me, it will be for me. And if it's not meant for me, it won't be meant for me. And I don't see you trying to manipulate or manifest um, others 
in a way to get them to meet your needs. I feel like you're manifesting yourself to meet your own needs. You know, letting go of any kind of control, which is good. Any kind. And you're also keeping an open mind. I feel like, Libra, you know your soulmate's out there somewhere. Maybe they're stuck up in a tree somewhere. Um, but I feel like you're keeping an open mind as far as what your preferences were in the past for certain people, what you liked, what you enjoyed. You're not riding with that anymore. Um, keeping an open mind that maybe, maybe your usual type is really not what your usual type should be. Maybe it's more so you're kind of like, huh, maybe let me take a look at other other avenues as far as meeting other people and letting things just unfold naturally where the love is just, just something that is meant to be rather than trying to find what you like and then fit that person into a box to try to meet what you need. Um, I feel like you might have been dealing with someone who had all the preferences that you like but it's just not someone who was capable of meeting your needs or just not ready to be able to do that for whatever various reasons, okay? So I feel like you're on a real, true, spiritual, enlightening journey, um, at least in February. Venus retrograde is over, and now it's gone direct. There might be a little bit of shadow, but um, I feel like the retrograde really gave you some insight. Really gave you some insight. All right, let's get your charms. You know, it's crazy. I keep getting these snowflakes and all these charms. Maybe you're dealing with someone who was kind of flaky. Um, or you live in a snowy area, you've got a lot of snow um, at this time, or um, I will definitely tell you, you got a big snowstorm coming, because this, this is a really big flake. <laughs> or that's your person. They were just like a big flake. Um, let's see. You also have starfish, very beautiful. Um, you know, I don't know really the spiritual meaning of the starfish, but I do feel like the starfish represents... Um, uh, when you find a starfish on the beach, maybe you found one, or maybe you will. Maybe you're going somewhere where there's a beach and there's a lot of starfish. I feel like if you find a starfish, um, what, it, what it really represents to me is there's renewal, hope, and um, clarity, like miracles coming. Um, maybe you'll be in the spotlight at some point involving your career. Something along those lines is going to show up. I'm also picking up a lot of pink, the color pink, a lot of pink energy, which is very soft and um, very feminine. So you might be more so in your feminine energy during this time, really embracing your feminine energy, whether you're masculine or, or not, it doesn't matter. Um, okay, I'm gonna end the charms there. I think that's pretty much all the messages are giving me at this time. So again, if you wanna get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below as I have that special running, do, 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 check that out. And uh, yeah, I will be back very soon. I hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you very soon. Okay, take care.